Right, here's my Nexus 7 install on my VM. I've installed USB into the dash so I can plug my media in just to transfer songs or whatever I want to do, update. <laughs> I've got my stereo in my glove box. I usually have a little hard drive in there, but I've got it in the house taking some, uh, taking some shit off it. Right, this is the main face. You've got, I use a power amp, it's a good little app. You've got all your music library on there, which is kind of cool. This is your volume control, it's pissing me off going back and two through di different screens to adjust the volume. So what I've done is, downloaded this little uh, overlay. So I can adjust the volume on every screen that I'm on. Kind of makes life that little bit easier. You got your equalizer, set all your good stuff there. Swipe across to uh, change your tracks. That's pretty much power amp. I use Audio Glow, which is a nice little graphic equalizer once again you can swipe across change your tracks nice little touch all right where else am I running um, I'd show you the the Wi-Fi in the hotspot but where I am at parked at the moment I ain't got any single uh, signal sorry I use VLC for all my videos because pretty much plays everything you got it's pretty much a tablet, <laughs> that's exactly what it is, it's a Nexus 7 at the end of the day, so you've got your Google, your Facebook, what I've added on to the mix is, this is an app called Talk, once it connects to the car, let me just turn the car on, so once all these three lights up and your little car's lit up, just knock this off for a sec. There you go, it's all connected. So if I start the car up. This gives you, you know, you can pretty much add whatever you want onto it, you know what I mean? I got my math reading, air intake temperature, water temperature, revs. You see that go up when I rev it. So there's a little bit of a delay on it. I'm not really keen on that, but your speed, I got a vacuum. The reason I'm keeping an eye on my vacuum, I thought I had a leak, but I don't, so you know, it just comes in handy. You can go into your fault codes, you know, you can read them, and then obviously clear them if there is any. I just put a new math airflow on this, so I did uh, reset the codes. There should be nothing on there at the moment. No chords. So you got your sat nav. This comes in handy. Once again, I haven't got any data, so uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm trying to show you exactly what it is, but it should have GPS. I just use the um, the Google nav. You know, it's one of the better ones out there, and it's it's updated constantly. So, you know what I mean? It's a cool little tool. I'm gonna get the Joy-Con so I can uh, use the steering wheel controls. But you know, for now, it doesn't bother me at all. I think the whole thing cost me about 90 quid to install. You know what I mean? It's a no-brainer. I mean, you're looking at the uh, the E46 head units. You know, you can get the cheap, shitty ones for 250 quid, but the, you know the screen's got lag on it. I hear bad reviews. You got to spend 400 quid for a quad-core one to get anything kind of decent. You know, you know this this is great. I'm just using an ox lead at the moment, straight to the back of my Pioneer, but you do get a little bit of a uh, little bit of interference and hiss. What you need to do. 
is use USB audio, you know, just need, I need to get a little, uh, a little DAC, it's only about 10 quid off eBay, so that's my next step, but certainly worth the money, I mean, you know, because I had the, um, the head unit here, and you know, you, you got a shitty nasty adapter plate, and it, it just looks shit, so... Once you move the, you know, the aircon down, it looks better again. Let me see if I can get it a bit, uh, a bit brighter for you. It's, <laughs> you know I mean, for the money, you can't go wrong. What I did with putting that, uh, me head duty in, into the glove box was, I just got another extension lead, and you know, it, it need enough fitted, but once you got the extra extension lead, it's, uh, it's a piece of piss, you know what I mean? I've got me big one today. I did one on me mates the other day, and all I did was, you know, I cut and joined and soldered and extended it that way, so, you know, you, you can you can save your money that way. But anyone thinking about doing it, I'd highly recommend it. I mean, it looks fucking cool in my opinion. I know that you got the haters that are always going to hit out there, but for the money, like I say... <laughs> <laughs> this audio glow is, is, is fucking awesome. It looks really cool. Make your own mind up though. I thought I'd just post this out there to you know maybe give people some ideas. Let's say you've got your USB there. Beautiful. Right, catch it there.